Mr. Start Clark, well. everyone's... Oh, someone's down. Um, <laughs> ask us anything almost. Do we have an opener? No opener. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it a bit differently this week. I asked the questions last week. This week, the member of the audience, whose turn it is, stands up and gives their question, yells out to the panel member. First up, we have Erin Molan. But we've got Bianca from Canley Heights. Where are you, Bianca? <laughs> Right up the back. For Erin Molan, this is your question. Pardon? <laughs> You're up. You're up. Your turn. Uh, hi, Erin. Um, who was your idol growing up? Hi, Bianca. Um, my idol growing up would probably have been... Probably my mum and dad. I know that's a really boring answer, but... <laughs> I know, but they, they're certainly my idols growing up. And, um, and Jan Event, in a media sense, I used to love watching her. She was phenomenal, so I really enjoyed what that. You, your and Nadia Comaneach, I used to love as well, the gymnast. Oh, you mean rugby like rugby league, league related? Yeah. <laughs> On the hello, footy show. Oh, show. sorry. Woody show. Oh, hello. Um, Sam Bacco. Really? <laughs> Thank you. I back room, room with him once. <laughs> Did you? What was he like? Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> but no, great question. Thank you, Bianca. Thank, Thank you. you, Bianca. <laughs> Good question, Bianca. <laughs> Up next, Andrew Zane from Kensington. Where are you, Andrew? Oh, Dragons fan. <laughs> a question for you got a, you got a, a question, question for, for Fatty, Fatty, mate? Shoot. Cause... Sorry? Fatty. Yeah, yeah, question for Fatty. Yep. Because we had to be here so early. Do you know who won the last race in Belmont? <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> well, you're not going to believe this. I actually do. It was two beat six and three. Frybird won the race and paid seven dollars sixty. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and the reason I know that is because I backed the second horse, which paid fifteen dollars a place. Yeah. So that's why I know that. Know yeah. That. <laughs> Good question. Well done. All right, Bruce. that was a great question. <laughs> All right, next is a question for Nate Miles. You've spelt Miles wrong, mate, but that's OK. Mm -hmm. Brett from Gold Coast. Where are you, Brett? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There's a, there's a rumour that Benji Marshall's coming to Manly next year. Is that true, and how would he go? Oh, I think Benji would go good in any club that he's at, but uh, I don't know about that. I, who knows in this game? <laughs> Just, oh, actually, well. haven't you just signed Blake Green from the Storm? I'm yep. pretty sure he's going to Manly. Blake Green from the Melbourne Storm is a 5'8 going to Manly next yeah. year. Hang on, so. the, and question, the, the question's too. for Nate. The yeah, no, just... <laughs> just... <laughs> he's running Sorry, hot, mate. mate. Questions for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard anything, mate. I'd, I'd say, yeah, wait, He'd watch say, me in, Mate, it's a million to one shot. <laughs> million to one. Jeez. Thanks, Thanks Brett. Brett. Thanks, mate. Good question, yeah. Brett. Well done, Brett. <laughs> All right, this is open to the panel. We've got Hoy Vian. The J is silent, I think. Hoy Vian from Riverwood. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Did I get it right? Hoy Vian? No, Jovan. Oh, Jovan. How stupid of me. <laughs> Sorry, Jovan. Close enough. Now, for the panel, why did Bo retire from NRL? Why did I retire? <laughs> I'll, I'll stay. He was scared. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with him. You were scared. <laughs> Good on you, Hovian. and see you later, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, we've that, got, he... now we've got a we've got a Twitter question from Damo from Doonside. You're from Doonside, aren't you? No. Yeah, you know Damo, no? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he asks. This is to the panel. Right. In the Olympics, two Brazilian female divers have split as a team because one girl locked the other girl out of her room while she had a marathon sex session <laughs> with a male Olympian and they bowed out the next day. To the panel, what are your thoughts on sex the night before competition and what constitutes marathon sex session? Oh, my, I'll start. I'll start. Oh, no comment. And straight to you, Matt. <laughs> come on, you got to... Come on, you're young, isn't it? <laughs> come on, um, mate. You, you come like on. sex before the game and, and stuff? Yeah. How, how long? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fat. Skip Aaron. Fat. Uh, How long's marathon sex? Well, I, I never bar sex for a start. Um, I, I don't get it enough. Um, marathon sex, for me, eight minutes. That's a... <laughs> the first bit. And, uh, That's correct. I actually... Uh, I had sex at half-time once. I was on my own. Uh, <laughs> In my defence, I'd, I'd had quite a good first half. I'd, I'd run in a couple and made 30 tackles, so I thought, why not? I'll go on with it. Pat, All right. Were you uh, good? 
Excellent. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to you, Nate. Um, game day sex. Yeah, that's that's good. Awesome. <laughs> It's just whether or not I can be bothered begging for it all day. Uh, <laughs> and what's a marathon sex session? What how time? Oh, I'd need a half time break on eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so straight to Daryl. We'll go to Daryl. I don't know why you're asking me. I've known it for about ten years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Thanks, Damo. You love the show, mate. We'll wrap it up on that. We'll wrap. Good up work. On. That's a great segment. Yeah, good Ask segment, us anything, bro. almost. Yeah.